It was five seasons of summer camp, a decade of youth ministry, just dabbling in seminary and then realizing, oh, it is all coming together <laughs> for Word and Sacrament. Neighbors and friends around who were living around me um, said things like, we're not really interested in a church. We're not interested in joining a church or going to a church, but wow, if you did something, we'd be interested in that. So couldn't you do something here? And so we gathered for one month every Sunday in our local coffee shop. After they closed, we rented it for an hour. People came the first week, then they came back again, they came back again, they came back again. And after about six weeks, I thought, oh, maybe I accidentally started a church. Now we're actually in our sixth location in seven years. In a, we worship in um, a Jewish nursing home on West 7th Street. So if you really want to experience Humble Walk, you have to also show up in the bar where we gather regularly. Um, we've been doing m monthly or twice a month events at our local Irish pub for well, all, the entire time, almost from the beginning. And those are Theology Pub, and those are Beer and Hymns, and those are storytelling events. And those are its own community. And that's hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people are at those gatherings. And they come once and then um, they tell their friends and then the next time they bring their friends. So it just continues to grow in ways that we never anticipated. It's vital. It's actually shaped our neighborhood, the neighborhood in which I live, because Humble Walk grew up as a response to the need around around us and people asking, um, could, you, could you start something? 